absolutely delectable conditions. Not loads of pressure, really, in terms of points in the context of the season. We mentioned Carissa already locked in, Joanne de Faye. Well, she's just here surfing out the back season of the Tour. She's qualified, of course, for next season. We're back into the women's. Let's do this. Here's a look at Carissa. Yeah, Carissa Moore, well, uh, you know, she had a, a, a very lacklustre opening round just by nature of no waves. So she'll be excited to, uh, to get this underway. And a couple of big swooping turns and just when these waves double up in front of you like this at J-Bay, you know it's just going to cup out and run down the line and give you so much opportunity, potentially a barrel section as well. And here we go. Carissa just hitting the brakes there, thinking for a moment that this was going to uh, barrel off, but uh, she takes the other option. Right behind her, Joanne DeFay. Canvas is just open for painting. Uh, it's just this wave looks like, you know, it was wasn't exactly what she wanted with the little froth on the face, but you know, she was looking for the barrel. I mean, she had that opening round where she kind of missed time the one tube. So it looks like she doesn't want to do that again. Even some of the tails had had a pull through with the leash and like fixed and you know, if you get a good board, ride it. Just keep it on ice. Joanne de Faye here, live action. This one stretches in front of her. Quick snap from her, plenty of spray. And again, throwing up arms and keeping the speed. Another jam in the pocket for Joanne. And she'll Ooh. get blown up there. So just looking a little tight with her body position. Just a little tentative. And uh, a real valuable competitor on the world tour for many years and many years to come, I believe. Three wins already on the championship tour for it this season. Meanwhile, we'll check out Joanne Defay here. Good size on this wave on the opening section from her. Long drawn out bottom turn. And then swooping on the rail. Into the lip hard. Gives it a good crack and recovers. And again, just dragging that rail underneath the lip line. And this one will steepen up through here. She'll reset. Gets a little wobble off the bottom, but releasing with a snap there. And going down for well, almost a strong finish. Looked like she got wobbled off. Yeah, so let's see what happens. A pretty good wave here for Joanne DeFay. Gets a nice clean carve to open up. Steady pace on the wave here. Just did well to regain. Perhaps a little late to that one, but cleans it up here. Bit more variety. That layback snap. And as the wave slows up again, Joanne just paces herself. Comes through this inside section. Another layback hack. I like that turn. And then uh, just couldn't quite manage to to get uh, get to the final maneuver there and, and gets bumped off. I really like the way, though, that she looks like she's just about to go down. There's suspense in all of these turns, right? And I, I enjoy that. I think the, the boards that she's been riding have been allowing her to, like, have more agility and, and, and turn and, and looseness in the pocket. But it also gives you that kind of like, oh, am I going to pull it? I'm going so fast. And she's wrapping out of those turns so quick. And I love the way that it makes you feel watching because you're almost on edge the whole time. Yeah. I feel like that's good for the scoreline. Yeah, I think it is too. You know, high-risk maneuvers, That's that they want to see that critical nature uh, that you're putting into your maneuver. Oh, I like that turn there. It's almost, uh, you know, it's it, Tyler was doing it this morning and she was scoring well with it. Oh, I'd say maybe an inch longer, maybe in the equipment choice. Looks like there's a little bit more rail length that she's utilizing here, but Ooh. just releases the fins and then re-engages, gets the direction flowing down the line again, just hammers that final turn, just got a little bit caught on the hip. Big lines wrapping in here, and this swell was due to fill in throughout the day as well. That was on our forecast. The winds cooperative throughout the day too, keeping things nice and clean and groomed. It's a warm day out there. We're used to it being cold when it picks up at J-Bay at the moment. It feels pretty balmy as we'll check out live vision of the yellow jersey, Carissa Moore. Heading down the line here and looking to set up this meaty section. Hasn't unloaded yet on this wave. Just really setting things up here, waiting for it to get nice and steep before she goes on the attack. She's looking pretty smooth and polished. And she want to go hard into these turns. Nice wrapping committed rail arc from her. And again, just pushing a slightly softer lip line and it all gets a bit weird for Riss on the inside. Set rolling through the lineup now. So she's going to have to deal with a couple of things here. Looks like she actually skipped out a little bit on the bottom turn. And then watch here, she goes up and over, over the falls. Oh, and hopefully she's okay. And Joanne Defay. Oh, she goes down. So 
tomahawk to the chest right there. Interesting here. Well, this is, you know, this is, it's even picked up since this morning when uh, when our women were out there. Uh, we had the, the last couple of heats of the opening round. And she needs to put points on the board because you can guarantee Carissa Moore will regather, recompose and come back and attack. Here goes Joanne de Fay here. Opening up with a swoop in turn, double pumps off the bottom and pushing hard on the rail. And she's dialed in here. Again, nice and sharp from her with the rail work. A little bit repetitive through this section. That's more just what the wave's offering her. She's having to surf to that and just jams it, cuts that one short, mixes it up, thought about that steep section, decided rather prudently to get out of there. Oh, that wave smoked her. That wave just so radical, that inside section right there. Yeah, I liked it. Uh, it was a good looking wave right from the takeoff, had a nice steady pace to it. Kind of similar to Carissa, how uh, it, it was sort of open face calves uh, for the most part. And now through this inside section, she starts to hold that rail a little bit longer and then wrap it. These final turns where she actually gets a bit of wrap going, redirects the surfboard, the little layback one is again. And then right here she goes, okay, I'm out of there. I liked it a little better. You know, I guess that real progressive, futuristic style of surfing, it, it is more of a traditional style wave. As we see Carissa Moore, let's see how she goes and recovers here. Yellow jersey back on a wave here. Great looking open in turn. She's looking very composed on the backup board and slicing with precision into the pocket. This angle just showing you how this wave will double up. So outside just gathering and then into the lip. So a short away from her. All things considered, after what she's been through, she tags this first carve. Lots of power and flow in that one. Big swooping cutback. Steady pace on this wave, a nice carve again, drops straight down to the bottom. Looking for something through that inside section. Joanne, here we go, flying down the line, loading up. Uh, this one, a big uh, cutty on the face, but she's a little unsettled. She came off there, here's some live action. Here she goes again, driving on a big stretched out wall. This one looks really good thus far, and she is trucking down the line here. Ooh. There's a big turn, a massive spray. So much power and control. Just tightens that one up a touch, and then into this, nice hit. So this is a replay here for Joanne DeFay. So she was on her way back out, and this big wide set, she picks it up, sleepy cut back to start off. Now she comes through to the inside. I really like this turn right here. Big gouge in the face. I mean, the way she railed into that thing, I feel like that was the, the type of surfing I want to see. I know that there's like an, an, an initiative to kind of finish out some of these turns with some whip, but also holding through them really, I think, can give you a better look at, at Jobe. And some of these turns that she was doing out here on the face where she's carving through the top that was beautiful that wave just released perfect got speed coming out of it so really great work right there from joanne de Fay, stacking up some more points uh, and if she would have brought it home right here she would have been possibly looking at an excellent score in my book i mean she's so close numbers in six five seven for her so she'll remain in second place here she goes carissa moore in the yellow jersey swinging and wrapping, applying pressure to the rail. And then that car kind of rips one down into the bowl from a high line. Quick snap to set up a chew. Gets on the tail, not super deep, but comes out with a ton of speed. And again, wasted no time. is shifting the weight. Really nice swing in the pocket from Ritz. Again, just juicing that one hard. And again, snapping the tail out. This wave right here from Carissa Moore was, to me, excellent surfing. I mean, she just ripped into the face and sets it up and then she just stayed with the motion and that this wave actually stood up bowled up she had a quick speed check and then found a little cover up came through that she disappeared the body and then racks it into the corner again right here i mean this snap wow what you know she just feels like she's moving fluidly with all these sections that thing are you kidding i mean everything that she's doing on this wave just speaks excellent to me i really like that way i feel like that was the the best wave of the heat so far by far agree and uh, you can see stays nice and high. A bit of a secret to the barrel rider, J-Bay, is to uh, stay up high in that Armady-shaped barrel. But this is textbook power surfing here from Carissa Moore. Opens up the wingspan, brings all that momentum of the upper body. Now she compresses, gets back on the toe side. 
Transitions again, leans into it. Look at the angle of the surfboard, just holding that rail, driving through the turn with so much acceleration and power. And uh, I, I don't know, I think this board might even look better than the last it one. It does, it looks better, she looks better. This day, and it's been sort of looking at us, winking at us on the forecast, really, and absolutely delivering right now. Here we go, big swooping snap from DeFate into the lip, tags it hard, down again, another mistake. Because Carissa Moore's in the priority heat, and she's got herself a bomb here. She'll lean into that first turn, that board looks so fast under her feet. And she drives into those turns and just jams it down back into the steep part of the way. Sets up here again and just carving at will. Look at this stuff oh. as she throws loads at that for a finishing turn. So mixing it up. And this looks great. Whoo! Strong. Oh man, this is fun to watch. And you know, you know, watching her surf it, there's just elements that she's got, right? Just body structure, board. Everything's matching up, right? She's been working with somebody for that long to where she just has, you know, you find that magic rocker and, and template and rail line and you surf, you do surfing like this, you know, and it's, uh, it's really a pleasure, you know, to see the combination and the time spent together with somebody uh, working on something to actually create a symbiotic relationship where you come out and, you, and you've just become one with that. And, and surfing this way is so fun to watch. Just so balanced when she's up into these turns here. Gets the board right on rail. Oh, oh, oh. That one there. Just, Jeez. She added a little extra pepper on that thing. It was a Hawaiian punch, I call it. Yeah. Just able to just add a little extra in terms of the quality. Joanne, just get a little. Sorry, I'll let you call the action. Get back to the point. Joanne DeFay here looking to rally late in the heat. Big hack from her, and she'll throw it away. I was just going to say, she's had those falls on a couple of the end sections where she's stood a little tall. Carissa Moore really just showing her class there and responding to the adversity. That run up the beach and just came out swinging and she got back in the lineup and really looking very much like a sort of surfer you would expect to go very deep into this event. She's through the quarterfinals here. She's avoided a tough elimination round heats against Joanne DeFay. It is absolutely pumping at J-Bay right now.